Time now for the Peter Channel News Modern Report. Thursday morning, September 23rd, 2014. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday morning, September 23rd, 2014. Here are your news at 9. Here, our top story at 8 o'clock is. U.S. led airstrikes across a broad swath of northern Syria appear to have caused extensive damage to our militant positions on the ground and left an outdoor number of casualties, according to initial reports emerging on Tuesday. As the Lama State of Syria on Monday night, U.S. time, early morning in Europe and Emmy, Middle East, U.S. forces fired missiles at an attack with bombers and jets, numerous highest targets in Syria, particularly in Iran, the group's main base in Raqqa. The U.S. assault was supported by Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Jordan, Bahrain, and Trader. Assad was in for prior to attack. Jet was aiming meters into Israeli airspace when the IAF took the decision to shoot it out, as senior Air Force officials said. In Jerusalem, Israeli Special Forces Storma, West Bank, had out early on Tuesday and killed two Palestinians suspected the June abduction and slaying of the three Israeli teenagers. A cruise protect that triggered a chain event that led. The largest talk offer in history is made. Jack Ma, the founder of Eat, covers Jack Alabama, China's richest person with a fortune of $25 billion in annual wealth, breaking in the world's second largest economy, showed on Tuesday. A research facility in Huntington Avenue was among three buildings to factory yesterday morning after the Boston Fire Department responded to a natural fleet with just now been stopped. And an anticipatory buzz rose from the beer boys to the truck out to the free spirit women who packed out House of Blues and Boston on 9-11. On September 11th of 2014, with an array of acoustic strings, metal and fiddle, banjo, and guitar, the others was eased in a sparse. Jack Mott, founder of the Chinese Internet Retail Alibaba, according to Jew, the New York Times Alibaba, the world's largest internet cover screen company, with 231 million active buyers, using its site for 11.3 billion and orders of $26 billion. In Kabul, our good Afghan President Hamid Kazi today blamed the United States for his country's long war, a final swipe at the country that has helped him bring power 13 years ago, but towards which he became increasingly bitter. A university professor who spoke out against the Communist Party's policies in the vast western region of Xinjiang has become the first Chinese descendant in almost a decade to be sentenced to life in prison. The Pentagon says the U.S. and its third partners have used fire drills, bombers, and cruise missiles to hit military command and control centers. There they were, 22 year old Josh Patel, for a bed, I can the drop, preserved Northwest New York City with a 300 pound buck fare under the trail. Brent Mills from one week low after Chinese manufacturing gate beat forecast signal the increase in demand for the world's second biggest oil consumer. New York, a federal appeals court on Monday, reinstated the lawsuit of which victims of the terrorist attacks in Israel accused the National West Miss Bank of supporting Hamas just hours before a Brooklyn jury ruled against the bank in a similar case. The Treasury Department did not step that it will make it harder for U.S. companies to move their addresses outside the country to reduce taxes, coming down to practice known as inversions. In London and Beijing, Arizona own business group tipped to a 2014 low in September as firms again cut prices while factory activity in China picked up as only slightly survey showed to keep it a spotlight of policymakers' plans for economic stimulus. Also, Norway's Yara and Chicago-based CF industries are in talks about a merger of equals that could create a $27 billion global fertilizer product there's a rival in Canada's Potash Company. Okay, looking at the stocks. Dow Jones 17172.68, down 107.06. SP 5994 for portrait down 1611. And Nasdaq 4527.69, down 52.10. The iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6 Rival, the combination is shared size, but when it comes to taking advantage of the bigger screen, Smallwood says, I uh, plus new phones do always measure up. Months after being purchased, Apple plans are still. Unclear for the music service. Chris and Bruce Jenna have finally called the time of their marriage. The Kardashian Bobinger filed papers of Los Angeles Monday to the divorce the LFB in 11 days. 11 months after an announcement of separation according to court documents obtained by the Daily News. Scores of protests have surrounded the Metropolitan Opera with disapproval on Monday for its intention to stage a sympathetic portrayal of the terrorist who murdered wheelchair bound New York Leon Klinghoffer in 1985. Naturally, occurred in the winds not given caused climate change are responsible for most of the warming on land and the sea along the west coast of Northern America over the last century. A study has found a few years, years back at the United Nations Climate Talks in Bali, business executives hunkered down at the hotel and talked mostly how they could make money off the problem. 
a mangalore that cat died to the cat by India's boss orbiter mission partly gold as Bangladesh treasure the bat should orbit on September 24th. If the world doesn't get a D ball epic in the West Africa to control quickly, the disease could become a permanent fiction of the region spread as a retailer as a military as blue. The World Health Organization awards today a new report. On research carried out in Sweden that suggested that 80% of heart attacks in the men are preventable and men on top of the healthy lifestyle. Channel in sports, turn over the videotape for us. Well, the fake reported the full display Monday when Baltimore Ravens order C. Piscotti. Address the report by ESPN's outside the line selected to teams and directors was combined by addressing the West situation. Golf's conventional etiquette is just better at a Ryder Cup. There's no other stage of the game that would permit Ricky Fowler to spark the America's Ryder Cup plate in Edinburgh. Burks, what did the Jeep ice show style quick cut though? Lord of the USA shaved around his head. New York Jets have called Rex Ryan looks on against the Chicago Bears as his Jets lose to the Chicago Bears last night at the Bell Lines 27-19. And in 911 call, Woman says Rob Burns tried to run off, off the road. Peter Channel News Times 806 has started off a little travel report here. Safri's Expressway on the north front side, so from the split down in the tunnel here. Mass Park store from 495 in Westboro all the way out to Route 120 in Newton here, and it's hit the brakes from Newton caught all the way down through the Austin Martin Tolls and the Mass Park on the westbound side, a little so from South Falls all the way down to the Purdue Tunnel here. 120 on it, northbound side, so from the split all the way down to near Route 20 in Wayland there, and we got 120 on the southbound side of Little from Punk Park Avenue, stretching down to the split. 120 on the southbound side of Little Soul from Route 95 out in Peabody, stretching it down for Trapel World and Waltham here. 93 on the southbound side of Little from Assembly Square down to the Zaken Bridge. 93 north on Little from the bridge all the way up to 120 up in Reading near. 95 is more on fine from 120 to the New Hampshire border, a little slow, 95 northbound from Salisbury, Daffy, Newburyport, to the next to the 95 stop on near 495 in Amesbury. 495 stop slow from 97 in April all the way up to 93 in Andover, and Route 3 stop slow from Bedford all the way down for Burlington there, and also slow from Chelmsford down for Bill Wicker here. 95 stop, 93 stop a little slow from Lawrence all the way down to Reading here on Okay, exiting on the ramp from 485 north to Route 3 south in Chelmsford here, so trust us for exit time in that area here. And 95 of the north part south south of the Ponzo Street, all the way up to the 120 that gets it. 24th Mall, except for a slow spot from 24 north part Route 27. Brought all the way up to 120 Randolph at Route 3 on the north side south of 228 and Rock it up into the Brain Tree Split here and Route 295 East, northbound, slow from Route 1 down to 95 at Albert, 95 south, slow from 295 to 123 at Albert here, 146 south, low slow from North Springfield to Lincoln, to the next at Route 146 at the southbound side. In Lincoln here, 95 southbound, slow from the S curves of Texas all the way down to downtown Providence, 195 on the westbound side, low slow from Route near 136 in they can all the way down to East Providence here. 95 North Brown also for 295 work all the way down to Route 10 in Cranston here. And 295 South Brown for Route 6 to Route 14 in Johnston here. And Route 6 East so from the Route 6 120 to the 10 610 connector here. And Route 4 so on both ends in the North Kingstown here. And 140 North Brown side of the New New Bedford here. Okay, let's take a look at a weather forecast here on this Thursday morning here. For today, set skies are about 68 degrees, westward about 3 to 6 miles apart. Today, close skies below 45 degrees, call wind. Wednesday, set skies were higher to 69 degrees, call wind becoming east around 6 miles apart of morning. Wednesday, night, patch back up to 1 a.m. hours, parts of the sky below 47 degrees, eastward about 3 to 5 miles apart. Thursday, Patch well before 9 a.m. was punch the sky to do 69 degrees east without 6 miles apart. So that punch well after 4 a.m. was most of the sky low 52 degrees. Fridays, punch well before 8 a.m. was punch the sky to do 75 degrees. Friday night, most of the sky low 51 degrees. Saturday, set sky to 81 degrees. Saturday night, close sky low 55 degrees. 
Sunday, South Carolina, 81 degrees. Saturday night, mostly just got low, 36 degrees. And for Monday, most of South Carolina, 77 degrees. Peters, what a phrase of the day. A terrific Tuesday, top and not in temperature, 46 degrees with clear skies. That's going to be it for the Pete Jones News. More in the point on this Tuesday, September 23rd, 2014. PJ was a good day with a compressor. I'll see you for a late night report for us. I'm going to be in Taunton and I'm going to go to Norton to watch Ted Weinstein have a book talk. I was doing a notebook and notebook pipeline from Ted Weinstein from Channel 5's Chronicle. Have a good day with a good body.